I went to Plato's Closet 90% off sale and I got quite a few good things. So if you'd like to see what I got, go ahead and stick around. my channel. My name is Heather. I am a homeschool mom of two. I'm a volleyball coach and a player. I am a Disney lover and I am a full-time reseller. I go by the Canary Closet on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And I sell on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, ThreadUp, The Real Real, and through Facebook. So I'm going to kind of show you what I picked up here at this um, sale. It was 90% off. So I had already went at 50% off. I went again at 70 and then I went at 90. So 90 is always, um, I don't get quite as much it seems like because it starts to get picked over and it usually gets um, a lot more crowded than the other days I feel like. So I feel like I still got a pretty good amount of things though and some things for some great prices. So I'm going to kind of go through and show you what I picked up. And um, also if you're ever interested in anything that you see in my hauls, just go ahead and comment below or you can shoot me an email or Instagram message, anything like that. All the information I'll put down below and you can go ahead and contact me that way. So the first thing I picked up is Universal Standard. Um, I don't know too much about this. I've had that once before for some pants. It's a short sleeve V-neck like jumpsuit. It's really oversized um, pants. It's got pockets on the side. This has been there the whole time and I've kind of seen it because I know I've heard of this brand before, but um, I just decided to pick it up this time. No one had picked it up yet. So no idea how I'm gonna price that or anything. Um, this was an Affliction. So it's super distressed, size XXL for men, with the skull and the roses, um, tie-dye kind of pattern. That was super cheap. And so I picked that up. There was a few things in the men's section I ended up getting for my brother, which I don't, I think I already put them in a bag for him, but the best thing was this rag and bone new with tags shirt, which was crazy because it ended up being like $3 after the discount. Um, this is a new with tags white crow. It's like a blue and gray maybe like a thermal kind of top. Um, I don't normally pick up this brand, but being new with tags, it kind of just piqued my interest, I guess. Um, so it has a retail of $48. That's cute. Um, this is the athletic brand Lucy. I don't pick this up a ton, but this was only one or $2. It's a long sleeve activewear top and activewear has been doing really good for me lately. So I thought I would pick that up and that's an extra small. Um, this is a Fabletic size medium, so I don't pick this up all the time, but I really did like this open back feature on this one. And again, like the athleisure stuff's been doing really good, so I thought I would try that. This one I just picked up because of the graphic. I think it's funny. Um, the Right to Bear Arms Alaska, and it's got the bears. I don't know. I think somebody will like that. So I got that. Um, this is a Lululemon crop hoodie. So it's navy blue with these like um, really bright orange kind of stripes. And it still has the pull tag. It's a size six. And then the logo is here. I'm sure we all know what that is by now. So that's really cute. Oh, this wasn't actually from Play-Doh's, but I'll show it anyway. It was a vintage dress that I picked up somewhere else. But I really love this um, waistline here. It's kind of like a midi length floral dress, sleeveless. It is a size nine, um, but I just thought it was really cute. So I picked that up. And then I also got this Lululemon jacket. So if you guys know the style of this, let me know below. I'm not very good with these. Um, the logo is here and then it has this like open. I feel like I've sold something like this, but I can't remember what the name is. I'm going to look really quick and see if I can find the size, but we'll see. You never know where they're going to be in these things. Okay. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm sure it's somewhere, but it looks to be like a four maybe, or a two, like a smaller size. Okay. So I got lots of bottoms. Um, there's actually more over on the table that I'm going to pull up. I don't have that many hangers for my bottom. So this is an American Eagle. It's a jegging distressed. It's a size zero long. So these always do pretty well for me um, in that $20, $25 range pretty quickly, typically. And then like I've said in past videos, this brand Can Can has been doing pretty good for me selling for around the same thing, $20 or $25 range. It's got this raw hem and this is a size nine or a 28. So all of these jeans, I think were just, I don't know, two to $4 after the discount. 
Um, this is a Kate Spade Broom Street. So I might send this in to thread up. Um, it's a size 28. They're just like a dark wash, maybe crop jean. Um, if anybody knows about the whole crazy thread up stuff going on lately, I'm sure if you're in any kind of social media you do for resellers, they first of all decided to all of a sudden go and take away where you couldn't max it out to the 80% of retail and was making people change them for stuff they already had listed. But then I guess tons of people freaked out um, because they did it without warning. And so they changed it back, but they did say they're going to do something in the future different and they're going to give sellers 30 day notice. But for now, I have just sold a couple of things at that 80% maxed out price on ThreadUp. So I'm just going to keep sending stuff in until something changes because why would I stop? Anyway, that's got the logo in the back, but I might try to send these up. Um, send those into them. Okay, these are Athleta size four petite. They're just a cute um, striped crop pants with the drawstring. These are can can again, um, button fly, just a full length dark wash leggings, and these are a size twenty nine. We've got a pretty good amount of stretch in them. Um, these are Hudson, just basic dark wash skinny. Here's the back pockets. And these are a size 24. So I don't know if I'll sell those myself. They do okay for me by myself. Um, I did sell a pair recently in the $40 range. I think might've been like a high rise vintage or something like that, but same with these, DL 1961. So a lot of these that I'm like, these are like Emma. I'm debating on doing thread up or doing my own um, it just depends on kind of what kind of inventory I have going on here. If I wanted to just send some stuff off these, I typically would sell myself for around $25. They are a size 27. These are Fabletics size small. So the Fabletics logo is just that little F right there. So there's this printed full length leggings. It does kind of have some mesh. I don't know what that should be in your YouTube video. <laughs> okay, here comes my kid. He's always got to be in the video. He's really, he really cool. Halloween cookies And today. his name is Jeff. Okay. <laughs> okay, thanks, Grace. Yep. <laughs> anyway, these are size small, so they're full-length printed leggings. No. <laughs> I'm not going to edit that out. My son came earlier. I was like, okay, it was a too long of a thing, but... I think they secretly wish they could be in the videos with me sometimes. When I first told him I was doing YouTube, my son told me that's very cringy, mom. I was like, well, you know what? Too bad. Okay, these are Athleta size extra small. And they're just a crop legging. And the logo's down here in the bottom. These are Rock Revival size 28. They're a black, um, or, yeah, I would say like a washed out black um jeans and it's got these pockets rock revivals are still selling for me pretty well for at least 40 45 dollars um these i picked up for thread up they're new with tags limited um black skinny jeans i don't really sell this brand ever but being new with tags i think that they will like those this is a pair of torrid jeans size 24 so they're a black i think it says ultra high rise skinny and then it's got this cool detail on the bottom. So that's pretty cool. I'll sell these myself. Probably list around 30 or so. Um, these are Levi's 710 Super Skinny. Yep, size 27. And they're like a black kind of washed out gray jeans. I do notice that the gray and black jeans are doing well for me. Um, so I'm picking up more of those. And Levi's I've been selling to uh, fairly good. These are free people, size 25. They're a light gray, like busted knee, skinny jeans. And the rest of my jeans are on the table. So I'll just kind of grab those off and show them to you. Um, these are new with tags and Taylor mid-rise skinny. They kind of feel velvety pants. I think I'm going to send these into thread up too. Um, I've done fairly well with some Ann Taylor pieces on there. And so I think those would be good for there. Um, these are just wild fable, but they are new and they are the mom jean and they are size 12. So all of those factors um, only being a couple of dollars, this medium wash, I thought I would pick up and 
sell for myself. These are a men's pair of Lululemon shorts. So, and then the logo is back here. Um, it doesn't have a tag. It's got the drawstrings on the inside. I can do a quick search to see if I can find the size in the pocket, but I'm not seeing it. So I'll look around more later, but they look to be a, maybe a smaller medium. Um, these are a women's Lululemon like camo crop capris. And they got this mesh in the bottom. Um, here's the logo here. Again, these I'm unsure of the size, but they do seem to be bigger, almost like a 10 or a 12 maybe. I'm not seeing it here in this pocket, but those are cute. These were an older style Lululemon that they had on their clearance, um, but I still went ahead and picked them up because they were very cheap. So I just got this striped waistband. Um, I'll probably only sell these for 20 or $25, but like I said, being so cheap, I'll still get them. Some people still like to have those certain styles that they like. Okay, another pair of Can Can jeans. I don't need to keep showing that tag, I guess. These are a size 26. They're a black. They got pretty good stretch, um, distressed jeans. And the last one's another pair of gray jeans. Rock Revival, size 25, Celine Skinny, which I know I've sold recently. So no distressing, really. And then here's the back pockets. So that's all I got from Play-Dohs. I'm going to hopefully get that listed here in the next couple of days. Like I said, if you're interested in anything, go ahead and let me know. Um, otherwise, if you like this video, go ahead and push that like button, hit subscribe, push the little bell next to it. I will be back on Friday with the Flippin' Friday video. And thanks for watching. Bye.